one of the focus techniques we're going to learn about is the power slap. Now, we're going to be training against hooks, so it's good to learn how to do a power slap, these big swings. Now, um, people who, are going to, who do martial arts or do boxing, they say that's a really uh, ineffective swing because it's so big and so telegraphic, right? So, uh, and it's true, but the thing is with boxing hooks, it's very hard to learn to do it properly. All right, my boxing trainer, it took him six months to learn how to do just the hook properly. So, um, we only have 12 modules, so I'm gonna show you a hook that is actually uh, more effective, if not even as effective as just the boxing hook, but then it's a lot easier to do it a lot more natural, okay? It's just with these big swings. And I'll show you uh, why in, in just a second. So let me just show you the difference between standard boxing hooks versus a power slap. Okay, so standard boxing hook is pretty tight. My hands don't go very far. I want to do the, as little movement as possible and be able to hit in this pad here. So, so a boxing hook, a real hook will be like that. Okay, so it's very tight, very technical and that could potentially knock someone out, okay? Power slab is like this, all right, so. Okay, so which one would be? Second. More powerful, basically because I'm making a better, bigger motion, okay? There's advantages to both and disadvantages, okay? So the boxing hook, the advantage is it's tighter, it's harder for them to see. It's faster, right? Um, but the problem, the disadvantage is that you only have this fist, this much area to attack with. Just these knuckles here. Okay? So if you hit with here, nothing's happened. If you hit with your forearm, nothing happens. You have to hit with your knuckles. All right? Um, and the problem is, is if you hit your knuckles, especially on the head, even up on the, up on the crown, you can easily break your hand. And it's hard to get your wrist in the right position because I am doing this. A little tiny mistake and you're gonna break your wrist. So it's very hard to use a boxing hook without boxing gloves safely. That's the problem. And it has a small area, like you just said, your fist, okay? Um, so that, those are the problems. Now with a power slap, I'm using my hand because it's safer. Even if I change my angle of my hand a bit, it's not going to break my wrist. And another cool thing is that now I can use this whole part here, a whole foot distance, as the weapon. Instead of just this much, I'm using this whole, whole thing. Okay? So even if I hit with my forearm, it still moves him. Right? I hit my forearm. All right? Even if I hit my fingers, I still get a sting. Right? That's just my fingers. Right? So I have everything from my fingers down to my forearm as the weapon. So that is the benefit. Another benefit is, uh, like I said, it's safer. I won't break anything. Because if you've got an angle like this or like this, it's still safe. All right, so that's the power slap. A variation of that is all you have to do, instead of slapping this way, turn your hand, slap with the back. That's illegal in boxing and, um, because you're not allowed to hit with the back of your arms. But we're in the street, so there's no, there's no, uh, no rules, right? So instead of going slap this way, I'm just going to turn backwards, hit it back with that. Okay. Okay. So pretty powerful. Okay. So that's the power slap, um, and I'll show you some of the mechanics to do that.